In business, when we're marketing, and especially with pay-per-click, we'd like to know if it's actually working. Are we getting an ROI? Are we making money from what we're spending? It's also very interesting to see where all of our leads are coming from. What is the lead source? Is it Facebook? Is it the website? Is it pay-per-click Google ads, etc.? So over decades of measuring different businesses, I've identified the exact types of things that we want to measure to then make better decisions that result in increasing sales and or profits. So I've used bits of paper, I've used Excel spreadsheets that were quite sophisticated and complex. These days I've come across a tool which is far better than those, which is called Airtable. And Airtable is a tool that's a combination of uh, Excel, Access, and uh, Google Sheets. So it's online, it's shareable, anyone can share it. And best of all, with what I'm about to show you, it's available to you for free. It doesn't cost you any money. So I built a template in Airtable that fits 90, 95% of businesses almost straight out of the box as it is. And with a little bit of customization, you can make it yours and it's free. It's my giveaway to you for um, having watched this video, you could say. So let's have a look. Here's what Airtable looks like. So it's just airtable.com. You put in a username, password. You'll need to give them a credit card because if you're still using it after 14 days, then you will pay. But you can pay nothing and cancel within 14 days and then you don't have to pay anything to keep using Airtable. So how it's set up is it uses something called bases. So instead of them being files or spreadsheets, they're called bases. So every one of these icons is a base. And this is my paid workshop workspace. And then I have a free one and I give clients um, a base as well, a free version of this. So I share a base with them and then they can use it. And then they can transfer ownership of it if they like. So how it works is this column is where you track the leads. So very, very important thing is to get a headset so that when you're answering phones, you are hands-free. If you're holding your phone, it's very hard to type anything into a computer unless you're very good with one hand. So a better way of doing it is to have a headset. Now when you have a headset and you're using this, then it takes no time because you're entering data while on the phone call. So that makes it really easy. For example, if the phone rings and says, hi, I'd like to get a quote, sure. So what's happening here is I'm putting, I'm just selecting today's date. I'm choosing whoever it is that's answering the phone. And they say, yes, I'd like to get a quote, please. And they say, sure, have you ever bought from us before? Can I get your name, please? Oh, my name's Bob. Oh, okay, Bob's looks like it's the first time you bought from us. Is that true? Yes, it is. So notice what happened in this column. I can create a record, it searches, but if it doesn't find one, I can create one on the fly. So just type in that and then hit enter. And there we have, there we have that name already entered. Now that data then goes onto here and then it tracks it all. So which means the next time it'll be already in memory. So this column is about creating new records and adding them. This column can be anything else you want to have. I've got sometimes B2B, you want a business name and you want to know a person that you're talking to, etc. Then they might say, I'd like to get a quote on something. You say, sure. Um, Barry, how'd you find us? Uh, was it from our website or a pay-per-click or something? Oh yeah, it was a Google ad. Sure. Great. Thanks for that. You like a quote? Yes, I would. Okay, great. Look, what I'll do is I'll organize a, a day for Peter to come out and see you. What what about tomorrow at three o'clock? Does that suit you? It does. Great. Thanks very much. Look forward to seeing you then. Thanks. Bye. And you're off the phone. So you're done. The data entry is all finished. No extra time is needed. Potentially you're just going to enter it into a calendar, which you'll do anyway. And it's as simple as that. That's it. Just, and you, if you don't want to use all of these columns, you just hide them or unhide them. You'll notice it's got a few extra hidden ones here already. And that's as simple as it is. Now, the other thing that happens is someone might say, I'd like to go ahead with that quote you gave me previously, please. And if that was a phone call and Bob Smith rang up from Acme, then you could look them up or you could see that they're there. And you just say, "Can you, Oscar, can you tell me what value, uh, what we quoted you on that job? Or you can just look it up, either one. And you put in the day's date as well and it pops up a calendar and then you put in the date. So all you're doing in this column is entering the dollar figure 
you don't need to put a dollar sign because it's formatted for dollars same with this you don't need to do you can just select the calendar by double clicking or you can just start typing and then you'll notice it pulls up today's date automatically so you just select it and you can delete it if you need to the good thing is that this starts tracking interesting data so here it's totaling up our sales this column here if I select uh, percentage filled what it means is any row that has a date in it is filled anything not filled is obviously empty and then percentage filled means percentage out of all these leads on the left if we've got a date that means it's a sale so now we can see we're tracking at 35 percent conversion rate of all leads to all sales that's the conversion rate which is kind of interesting but that's just the tip of the iceberg of what we can do so with views we can see how many leads that we're getting by each week so if I collapse that collapse all you can see it's telling us how many leads are coming in each and every week now there's not a lot of sample data in here but there is enough just to give you an idea of how it works but with clients businesses what we're seeing is in COVID times especially we wanted to see consistency of leads but if the leads drop off that tends to mean sales will drop off if sales drop off it tends to mean we're overstaffed now this is an early indication of staffing numbers so if this increases 20 to 30 40 percent then sales tend to follow which means we're potentially understaffed we need to hire another person so this is very very handy for that same with sales by the week you can actually do the same it'll start to track your sales by the week and by sale numbers there's a certain number of sales and a certain income you need to generate in your business each week and this will help you to see how many sales you're generating and what potential workload you have coming up so there's lots of other bells and whistles that you can add and these are really quick and really easy to add I can just simply say all right I want to see leads by lead sources okay let's duplicate the view leads by week and lead sources so we'll give it a name and then I want to group by pick another field to group by lead source there we are lead source and that's about it that's about it so then when I expand this you'll notice it's now breaking it into lead sources each week so where are my leads coming from I can see if you want to see not by each week but by the year to date all I do is swap those two around and say all right show me all leads from a lead source and we can see from this that our Facebook page per click is the best followed by website followed by client referral and as you get more and more data it becomes more and more powerful same with sales by the week etc sales by week is good but sales by duplicate view by production type which is sort of they're ringing up saying I like a quote on a certain thing then we can add that as a sales by where is it job type there we are and we can see that if we break this down we can see what types of jobs are getting us what sales and that becomes quite interesting or if we swap these around but see how fast and easy this is that's the thing that I want to show in this short introduction is the fact that we can see what types of jobs are generating what volumes of sales etc and then you understand which employees you need to hire for what skills or what types of jobs you have and you're getting an idea of how many employees you need to hire by sales per week when do I need to hire more people etc so this is what it's really uncovering for your business it gives you decision making information to make better more informed decisions and all of this functionality is free and this template if I go back to grid view grid view is where you start you can add columns and modify columns and do all sorts of things we can track sales by individual sales person to see conversion rates by sales person all sorts of things sales by lead sources average sales all sorts of things the other thing is if you want to get into the paid version then you can get into something called blocks now blocks are very interesting things blocks are where you can build dashboards with all the graphs and for example you can see graphs here for leads for a week I haven't got a lot of sample data so therefore it drops off and changes really quickly there but you get a breakdown of the colors so over here you have the the legend that sort of shows by the colors what numbers and if I hover over it, it gives us the breakdown of numbers of 
leads from each different lead source, uh, sales by month, sales by week, sales income, track your income of sales here by weeks, by months, etc. All sorts of things that you can track in here. Sales by job types, for example, all that can be tracked. And then if you go to the next level, which is where there is a small price for this because the functionality is quite extraordinary, but you can have job data tracking information where it pulls in some of that data from the lead. So when this becomes a go ahead, you, you turn this on as a, like a go ahead, you click a little arrow and then it loads data into here. You set up a job number for a sale. You give it a job number and then it starts tracking your uh, sale price and your cost of sales, etc. You can put in materials, um, all that sort of data and then you your data entry goes straight into here and you can actually have a job sheet where a timesheet where employees out in the field can enter in their times and on a mobile and you can have unlimited number of employees entering their uh, data straight in here so with the timesheet they're out in the field they just put in their employee they select their name select the job number select the job type put in their hours submit bang and it's straight in here as a row of data entered against a job number like you can see here this column's got the job number you can see this employee entered in the time and um, yeah so it's tracking all that data and then you can get some very very interesting reports over here in a dashboard that I built that tracks all that collates it all and then gives things like what is the gross margin every week that this business is generating for jobs that are a work in progress and that's pretty special when you say well I'm paying these wages for this Monday to Friday and I paid these wages and all these were allocated against certain job numbers some of those jobs are a work in progress some jobs are finished in that date range of Monday to Friday but overall it'll track a dollar value of work produced and then give a gross profit and gross margin on that and that is very very special you can even get a gross margin by employee which is irrespective of their hourly rate and that is very very interesting when you know the gross margin ROI on each employee as you can see over here and you can turn them on and turn some on turn some off by clicking on them and that becomes very interesting so that if the employee wants a pay rise you just look at the gross margin because ultimately what you pay them isn't relevant what you get as a return as in I spend this wages your cost of sale and I produce this income from you then taking off their wages as a cost of sale we get a gross profit and then we get a gross margin and that's very very interesting so there's a small cost to get into this but it's customized to your business to give you all these graph outcomes of whatever graph you want for your business and the job dashboard or it could be leads to sales dashboard etc and so this is just showing you some of the things that you can do with Airtable and all this extra functionality is what you pay for is a $20 a month uh, plus there's a small IP fee for the use of all this complex uh, formulas that are necessary and all these different worksheets to build those sort of graph reports. So that's a bit of an overview. If you like the sound of this, by all means, get in contact. I'd love to have a chat to you about the Power of Airtable and what it can do to make a very big difference to your profitability by using tools like what I've built in here with, with using spreadsheets that I've used over the years and provided with clients as part of my mentoring program, we've often seen profit margins add 5, 10, 15 and even 20 percent. And when you're talking about a business turning over a million dollars or more, we're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars increase in net profit in a matter of sometimes two to six months as a result of how the measuring is revealing inefficiencies, opportunities, uh, ways to save money, ways to make more money, ways to hold employees better accountable, etc. So the ROI can be outstanding from applying methodology like this and instead of paying a thousand or two thousand dollars a month for some of the job management programs we're talking like a hundred hundred fifty dollars a month so very little cost involved to achieve those sort of outcomes from using tools like this so if you like the sound of any of this whether it's just tracking the leads to sales all that is free I'm happy to give you that as my gift to you with different views that are already set up 
and you're welcome to use that as much as you like or if you'd like to go to the next level and talk about the functionality of integrating sales into jobs and tracking jobs with gross margins with employees and actual job types etc then talk to me about that as well so i hope you've enjoyed this any questions by all means get in contact thanks for your time